Okay, it's March 29th, Wednesday. This is my Lands Hive. I'm gonna look inside and see how it's doing. They look pretty busy. Uh, I, may, I have some frames here. I may add some frames. I may open up. You can see the right hand side is closed off. I may open that up. We're gonna take a look and see how they're doing. Junk starting to grow up around it. Get some of that away. Some smoke here. Let's see how they're doing. Get the lid off. Closed off from here over. That's why this entrance is closed off. Uh, so I'm going to get the divider board out first. Here's the divider board. Boy, it's jammed in there. Didn't think it was in there that tight. Let's see what the first frame looks like. It's not really a whole lot on there. This was a piece of damaged frame. There's a couple bees on it. They haven't really built anything on it. Yeah. Look at this one, the next one. Haven't really built anything on that either. Okay. The stuff that's on there was on there from before. Uh, next one, let's see what that one looks like. heavy. That's dark stuff. That's all honey. Capped honey. This is all capped honey. Plenty of bees on there. Some funny looking combs, some weird pathways down there at the bottom. Plenty of bees on it. Looks good. Again, this is a layman's hive. It's not like all the other ones. Give a little shot of smoke here. I hope that didn't go out already. Move them up a little bit. Alright. Try this next one, see what it looks like. Boy, that's pretty heavy. That is pretty heavy. Even more honey on here. Lots of honey. Don't see any brood or anything yet. Some weird shaped comb, but that's really heavy with honey. Okay. Well, I noticed this frame next door, when I took the last one out, it ripped some of the comb apart. That's not good, because I see some honey dripping. Let's look at this one. Well, this one's pretty light. I can see a little bit of damaged comb right there, and there's some honey dripping. But this one only has honey up at the very top. And if you look right there, there's a bee with a couple bees with, uh, see the yellow? That's pollen in their, uh, their pollen basket. So they're putting pollen in that. You can see the pollen right here. Yellow pollen that they're putting in. There's some red pollen too, mostly yellow though. Uh, there's some yellow bushes right over here that are blooming right now. Yeah. I'm assuming that's where they're getting the yellow from. Alright, let's look at this next one. But they're doing good. They have plenty of, plenty of resources. Now, I, hopefully I'm getting to the brood chamber here. Uh, they should be starting to raise brood this time of year. Look and see. Oh yeah. See all that orange? That orange is brood. That's that's babies that are laid. Uh, see if I can see a queen. My queens aren't marked. These were wild swarms. 
nothing I don't see her on this side she's a little bit bigger than all the other ones I see some drone brood right here they're they're bigger than regular brood the drones are a little bigger than the worker bees mm -hmm. there's a piece of drone there 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 all the rest is regular worker bees let's look and see if there's a queen on this side I'm blowing because sometimes they'll huddle they'll huddle up around the queen no, don't see her don't see her double check on this side again see a couple uh, bees with pollen in their pollen baskets they have little baskets on their back back feet that they put the pollen in oh, don't see the queen all right let's check this next one give them a little bit of smoke calm them down a little bit hopefully what the smoke does is it masks their pheromones they'll put a pheromone out for danger and then they'll get more active and you can mask that you might be able to calm them down a little bit all right see this one plenty of plenty of uh brood on here too the orange stuff like i said that's all uh this is all regular worker brood that's drone brood they're males uh, that's a good sign uh, it's a little early I don't see any swarm cells yet so it doesn't look like the they plan on swarming anytime soon at least not yet I have swarm traps out just in case they do uh, on this side see if I can see a queen I know I have a queen because you're not going to see brood without a queen. Oh, don't see her on here. Uh, I've got three more. I don't know if I'm going to check all three of them, but there's only three more frames left here. see what we got here oh my goodness sake. okay this one's really full maybe the queen's on here a little bit of honey up here that stuff right there is honey uh, the rest is all uh, brood well there's some there's some pollen in there too so they have some resources so when the when the bees hatch they'll have some food to eat for a queen she's really hard to spot it's literally like a slightly bigger needle than the rest of the needles in a haystack <laughs> uh, she's just her body's a little bit longer and she's a little bit fatter but other than that she looks a lot like the other bees and I don't see her on that side this side's not very full at all uh, but yeah that's all all worker brood females drones are males workers are females most of the most of the bees like 90 some percent of the bees in a hive are females and they do all the work the males just lays around and don't do anything other than hoping they get to mate with the queen someday uh, so yeah I don't see her on here look real quick here again real quick I see a bunch of bees walking around with that yellow pollen in their pollen baskets don't see don't see a queen do not see a queen that looks like a baby bee right there i think that bee probably just came out it looks really small and young a couple baby bees babies all right I'm going to check one more frame out there's only two left I think I'm going to check one I can see this one has a lot of honey on it at least at the top uh, I 
tend to put the most of the honey on the ends. And this is second from the end. And that's all honey across the top. It's all brewed there. My queen might be on here. Let's see if we can find her. These bees are busy, but they're not nearly as aggressive as some of the other wild swarms that I've caught, at least not yet. They usually don't like when you get into their house, but you don't see the queen on here. Like I said, I know I have a queen because there's, there's uh, plenty of babies and, and, and uh, brood cap brood so everything looks good here I thought I was going to open up this right hand side but I'm not going to uh, I'll pull that one last one out anyway just for the fun of it I really was hoping I'd see a queen I said I don't have to see her because I know she's in here you see the signs of her you don't really have to see her. Uh, you get a little bit of smoke here. And then I'm just going to put, have some extra frames over there. I thought I would have to put uh, more frames in, but they're, they're doing good, so I don't need to. All right. Uh, there's one honey at the top from about here up. And there's some pollen down here. I don't see any brood in in this one at all. That's all honey from here up. Uh, again, see some pollen down there. Most of it's yellow, but there's some red. Get a close shot for you. Well, that one has red pollen on it right there. I see the red in its pollen baskets. Uh, I don't know where they're getting the red from. Again, this is all honey. But everything looks good. I'm going to put this all back together and let them go. Let them get back to work. Okay. Got to get all the frames pushed back to that side, how they were. So I've got to kind of lift them up and get it back. Okay. One at a time. Get up all the way back. And that's every one of them. Really was hoping I could see a queen, but you're not going to see her all the time. If she's marked, it's easier, but I don't mark my queens. Get a hold of this frame. I pushed it too close, too fast. Lift up, push it back. Everyone's full of honey. Look up, push back. These guys are basically empty. Let's see if I can get that divider board pushed back again. There we go. All right, that's everything there. All back together again. Cover on, put the block on, and that's it. They look great. They're doing great. Okay. So that was my laying hive.